Kate Hunter, the Director of Career Services at DeSales University, led an informational conference on successful interviewing. But do students on campus really know good interviewing skills? Yeah, a formal process, uh, help you, help you in, the, in the job world. You gotta go through it if you want a uh, good job. Or, or, excuse me, everybody is nervous. So keep that in mind. It'll try and uh, reduce some of your nerves. Nerves seem to be one of the biggest concerns with DeSales students. I blow off some steam before I usually get nervous beforehand. So I'll blow off some steam, listen to, my, listen to music or something, run through some possible questions they might ask me. But do students know how to look the part? Like you gotta shave, you gotta look presentable before the interview. And if your interviewer wants to see that you are dressed up, you know, you want to look... I would go with a red power tie. Uh, you also want to look, look nice. Just... And obviously, it's good to be prepared for the interview. When you present uh, to your interviewer that you're smooth, not saying a lot of ums, you know, your uh, sentences are flowing, make yourself look smart, perhaps. Um, Saying like 15 times in five minutes makes me see, makes me think that you might not be very intelligent, right? It doesn't sound, you know, it doesn't sound. Students should also know what kind of follow-up is necessary after their interviews. Give it, give it a couple of days. You really want to be persistent and call, find out where you're at with the whole process. Uh, you want to, this will show that like how, how you're into the job, like how you want it. Follow-up procedures. You want to make sure that you call the person back. You know, you want to make sure that you show that you're interested in the job. Um, you should handwrite the thank you note. I'll give you an example. I receive anywhere between 100 and 150 emails a day, okay? It's hard for me to keep up, and I don't really want to receive another email. I literally jump up and down when I get a small handwritten card in the mail. I'm like, woohoo! This is great. I get to see something. Following up with a thank you note is not only professional, but it shows your appreciation. This helpful tip, along with the others, will be a sure way to a successful interview and a help at getting students the job they desire.